You know how they say it's yeah better chance to get into an accident in a car than you do in a plane. It's much safer to fly in a plane. I think they're getting their data on that from Interstate 75. Yeah. Asshole. So this is Lexington run. I've got some things to go inside, several things to go inside. Battery, for one, which we got behind a dumpster in Lexington. And then a bunch of other stuff that you'll see. I was going to come back. Got some stuff back in the lower 40 back there, but the ground is awfully soft. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to drive back there, but still have this stuff to get together. But that'll be for another day. And the AC unit I picked up in Lexington, I still gotta take it apart process it and a few things here so let's uh, move on shall we since we know gifts to wrap let's go scrap let's go scrap let's go to the scrap yard it's Tuesday scrap for cash family so it must be scrapyard run. Um, I don't know if I showed y'all that. So stainless uh, aluminum radiators. That's a bucket and a sorted selection of brass of a table that we found behind a dumpster and a brass lamp that was in a dumpster. And then I have this big bucket of wire. I've got a car battery in the back. I think I already showed you. I've got some little toy batteries there. Uh, there's some circuit boards down there I'm gonna try to turn in. I'm, I'm just getting into that game of it. So I really don't know what's the better grade of those things. I'll try to get schooled on that there and they're still attached to some control panels and stuff too so some of them are some of them ain't um, but yeah I'm gonna try to get into that I've never taken TVs apart but I'm assuming there's circuit boards in those things there's just a lot of waste and by waste I mean stuff I can't scrap it goes along with that, taking that stuff apart. Not to mention, the screen would be one of them. I'm pretty sure there's a metal frame in there, but this, I don't know whether that's worth it or not. Some of you all that might be doing that can school me on that. But I trying to maximize everything now. I mean scraps come down so much that you know unless you have loads like this it's really not cost efficient to just take a load of sheet scrap in anymore you know where before I could count on 80 or 90 dollars now it's more like 40 or 50 so you got to maximize your runs best you can which is what I'm attempting to do. So we'll see how this goes. You know, I got all kinds of things making noise in the back seat. Pretty sure I still have a critter around. I got stuff falling everywhere for some reason or another. I don't think it's off my truck, it's inside. Uh, I don't know if that 
critter is just rearranging his home or not. But we'll be at the scrapyard soon. I don't know what this guy in his white truck keeps doing. Slows down, speeds up, slows down, speeds up. We'll be there soon. So the guy in the white truck, apparently what he was trying to do, and I'll let you all try to decipher his sign language. He'll get back up beside me again, and we'll look over at him, he points at his eye, and then rolls his hands like he's operating a camera, and then points at me. So, it's either I film you, I record you, or I watch you. And then he laughs and gives me the aloha finger shake. I don't know. I guess that could go either way. He could be filming me. Or he could be watching me. Or he just could be in the market for a good camera and he's practicing either way he's awful happy about something and a note on current events that are taking place is it just me or is Daryl Brooks a f moron And while we're talking about Daryl Brooks, he's claiming to be a Soviet citizen. And I've run into one or two of them. And their overriding guiding light, I think, that they adhere to is they don't adhere to the federal government's rules and regulations but they're entitled to the protection thereof but the constitution is what they go by and that's it so they're entitled for protection under federal law but not liable to follow it so if they kill somebody then they shouldn't be charged for that because it's not lawful law but this is exactly what that guy said but when I said so what if somebody killed one of your family members oh well they go to jail then you know you can't fix stupid but duct tape will shut it up we're making the uh, scrapyard turn into the scrapyard. Like I said, we got to go inside and see, hopefully, Tyler and Bob, because Tyler and Bob are the absolute stars of Cohen Enterprises here. Uh, and then we can weigh in and dump this load and see what we wind up with. I see one guy on the scale, which I'm not going to the scale first, I'm going inside. And I don't see anybody dumping. The guy's got a washing machine. You know, and he's got a toolbox on his truck. And maybe that's because he uses a truck for work, but if you're using that for scrap, that toolbox is taking up valuable real estate. You really need to get rid of that. So, let me switch you to the old chest mount that you all love. And we'll go inside and see what we can see. See who's here. I see Tyler, I see Bob, and Chuck is inside, staying warm. They, they look, they look like they're froze to death. And you guys look. That's how we live in the day. You look cold. It is freezing. Well, this damn, that your doors are open. Yeah, no shit. All the time, it's like, well, 
got to have five people like you able to get in. Well, I have to come and see the Tyler and Bob show because that's the stars days. of Cohen, obviously. One of these days. I just don't know why they don't have heat in here for you. They do. They do. It's for the equipment. It's only for the equipment. It's our I thought you guys are the equipment. I think my well, knees say so too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like at 30 years old, I feel like I creep a lot of places I shouldn't get. Get out of bed, roll up with body pops. Is that all the radiators? That's all the radiators. Chuck, you better stay warm, buddy. Well, where's the business at today? She's working. She's home on the computer. I believe that's all clean brass. From what I ground on. That all the brass. That's it. Thank you. That's everything right here. A couple more things that I'm done. We've got that battery. And then I want you to look at something. I got you. Thank you. Yeah. Hmm. I got wire, but before that, that stuff ain't good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we buy it as like this we just need this casing taken off that's that's what i see that's got a case uh, on too yeah if you take those off so, but these but that comes as, straight through yeah we buy them as mixed pc boards um i think right now I mean, they're over a buck a pound okay all right that and some wire and that's all i got But those pay different. Those pay low grade boards. The okay. Um, you got any damn VCR DVD players out there on the way? So, as long as the board isn't like completely brown, okay. that'll be like a low grade. Most TV boards and shit, they don't really have like processors or anything on them. Um, but they still pay 17 cents a pound. So, it's like okay. you can bring all that in. But yeah, things like that, like um, like green boards like that, like good ones. Right. Like maybe a pound all day. Cool. Is that it? That's it. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, so I tell a lot of people, man, with, like, computers and stuff like that, like towers. Yeah. If you bring in towers, I mean, typically they'll weigh about 20 pounds, you know what I mean, give or take, but you're getting paid, like, 10 cents a pound. I think 13 if it's a full tower, but it's, like, you can pull that board Ripped out, it. and even one pound of board can buck 30. So, yeah, here made the yeah. same yeah. amount, yeah. and you could sell the casing of the computer as steel That's out crap. Of So, you're going to just make more on your money? Thank you. Yes, sir. Interesting information in here, always. Always from those guys. See you guys. So Chuck is hiding inside, which, like I said, I don't fault him on that, but the guy that weighed in before me is waiting to unload. I mean, he ain't got no slip yet. The reason I got a slip is because I went inside. He 
he's sitting there. I ain't got no slip. Which means, yeah, you don't want to unload unless you have a slip, that's for sure. They're all huddling around, staying warm. Which again, like I said, I can't fault them. It's cold out here. on them. They don't like that. That's a big piece of brass that I need to keep. Two things that I needed to keep. supposed to do then just dump it yeah
Now, that's the guy that was in front of me. <laughs> I don't like re recording in the office in there. Out here in the open is one thing I just don't like. I've done it a couple times, but I don't like doing it. Well, he walked in complaining that he had to find somebody to help him in the yard. So what he's bitching about is Chuck wasn't out there. Well, been here as much as we've been here. You know, I've, I've and even one in Lexington, I've went where there's nobody in the yard and they just call it in. But a guy was bitching that nobody took his driver's license. Anybody could come in here and just dump stuff. And he's bitching behind me. I'm at the counter. I'm, I'm cashing out. Maryland's not working. So the guy behind the counter looked at me and said, you mind if I talk to him for a minute? And I'm going, no. He said, "You, here's how this works. You weigh in and then you stop at that stop sign. He said, if you have to sit there 30 minutes, that's just the way it is. Somebody will come to you. Coming in here and bitching that you didn't get help soon enough because he was bitching that I went around him. That I weighed, at, weighed in, drove around him. I even stopped and said, man, you can just go ahead and unload. And he said he was waiting on a slip. <coughs> and then where he unloaded at, <coughs> Chuck comes out and says, hey, you can't unload there. He had, so he had to wait until I finished and pulled out to come into my spot and unload. So that pissed him off even more, I guess. Point being, follow the rules. Let's get to a weigh and pay. Batteries, 41 pounds at $1.30 a pound, pay $5.33. That mixed board was one pound, and I got a little schooled on that from Tyler, so I'm definitely going to start going after those. That paid $1.30. Yellow brass. The table that we found, the lamp that we found that I took apart, $37.70. Uh, the aluminum radiators, 13 pounds, $4.81. I got a little better price on sheet. It was paying $120. Well, this paid $125. Uh, 940 pounds at $58.75. That stainless sink. Weighed 16 pounds and paid $4.32, which ain't bad. And then uh, number one insulated wire had 26 pounds for $29.90 for a grand total of $142.11. So here's my goal, my plan. I had almost a thousand pounds to get to, and didn't get to $60. So I'm about $58 away from making this a $200 day. What's the chances I can load up enough scrap at the barn to come up with $58? I don't know. I honestly don't know. We'll see. Well, washer, dryer, water heater, odds and ends. Let's drive around, see what else we can find. Some of this will be fine.
Don't do that at home, boys and girls. I am a trained professional. If you haven't noticed by the big crack in the windshield, we're in old red. I'm making my second and final run to the scrapyard, and I am trying to eke out $60. I don't know if I'm going to be successful. I don't think I have all that much weight on here. And I've gathered up what little things I think can get me an extra $20, which I don't think I'm going to get. So this may be close, but no cigar kind of thing. But regardless, as I flip off the veterinary clinic that killed my dog. Um, you gotta try. And besides that, I got rid of some scrap that was in the lower 40 by the barn, which is always helpful to get that stuff cleaned out. And I got a water heater, washer, dryer, big ass fire pit, miscellaneous odds and ends stuff some fluorescent lights that I've had sitting back by the barn for a year pretty sure of there again I don't understand when somebody is carrying a big load of scrap on their truck why you feel the need to get right up there and touch my license plate with your car so if something falls off you get what you get at that point I would expect you to exercise a little due caution. Because I think I've got it. On there properly where it's not going to come off. But when you keep that load sustained to 50, 60 mile an hour winds, things can happen. So, Will, I'll be back we get close to the scrapyard. She waved at me with a thumbs up and pointed at my scrap for cash sign. And while I'm on that subject, would it really kill you all? 38 of you non-subscribers just to hit the subscribe button. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm right at the one yard line. All I gotta do is just get pushed across the goal line. Now she's blowing her horn at me. I don't know what the hell she's doing. Maybe she saw that big yellow bed frame on there and she's wanting that for her house. I don't know. But that, I digress. 38. 38 is a magic number. Guarantee you, there's 38 viewers out there that are watching this that have not subscribed that could subscribe. So all I'm asking is hit subscribe. It's not a streaming service, people. I'm not asking for bank information. Just hit the button. Besides that, I'm not laying anybody off. Paramount Plus is laying people off. Disney's in trouble. Crap for cash? Going strong. Top reasons to subscribe. You get to see scrapping. You get to see hijinks ensue from scrapping. You get to see how much money is made from scrapping reasons not to subscribe you don't like the content that you're watching and not subscribing to what in the hell are you people doing take your time there don't be in a hurry Man, when I left.
left out of here. I went out and weighed out. Somebody weighed out in front of me and they were parked like right in the middle of the yard. They already weighed out or weighed in. They were waiting to unload. So I weigh in. I come back and I go around him. I said, man, you can pick a spot and unload. Nobody's working out here. I don't have a slip. Okay. Well, Chuck's inside. I mean, he'll, he'll come out here. You know, this is a fucked up place to way to run this place, man. Just come out here and there's nobody here. So I rolled the window back up, went around him, started unloading. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. So he comes around the other side. He's trying to load sideways now, yeah. or you're not supposed to unload. So I'm unloading stuff. He's still bitching. He's over just bitching. Chuck comes out on the forklift. Beep, beep. Can't unload there. Stop. So then he had to wait on me to unload. Got to bid your patient for five fucking seconds. Yeah. yeah. Like, way to run it. Yeah. This is all we got. Yeah. He doesn't even work here. He's helping he said, us. He said, yeah, uh, people are just looking at me. I said, well, I don't know what to tell you. I have never noticed that. Sparkle? Yeah. You've not seen sparkle? I have not. Yeah, you ain't missing much. Thank you. That's that. And that's all the aluminum. That is, thank you. Yeah, that was that was funny. Chuck couldn't have planned that any better too, man. He came out at the right time. Right as he was getting ready to start tossing. Don't do that. They'll just throw it on the ground and shit at random spots. Yeah, it is just because I said, man, normally we dump over here. Yeah. You dump beside. There ain't no room over there. I'm just dumping it where I want to. Yeah, that's how it works. Yeah. It didn't didn't pan out. Too. Thank you guys. Yeah, As always, you're the best. sixty dollars see what happens
gonna have to hold this since I took my chest mount off, but we were 142 on the first one and I wanted $60. Let's see what we got. The mixed boards. I've definitely been missing out on those. Paid $6.50. The number one copper that came out of that um, a window AC unit paid ten twenty. Uh, the two radiators ACRs that came out of that paid eight dollars and ten cents. The sheet aluminum that I got rid of, the crutches and the baseball bat paid six sixty six. Eight hundred and eighty pounds of sheet. Paid $55 for a grand total of $86.46. So, for all intents and purposes, I accomplished my goal. I wanted a $200 day. And in actuality, I had about a $225 day. Not bad. Not bad scrap for cash family hit that damn subscribe button will you we're getting closer you know the upside is once I get over a thousand I'm gonna shut up until I try to get to two thousand so have fun y'all get out there and do some scrapping make some Christmas cash money hope everybody has a good Tuesday afternoon and a good scrapping weekend coming up. Let's see. Well. If I don't, so I might as well pick it up. I have a feeling I'm going to regret that. Take the bucket down. Sounds looks like to be some metal, maybe. In this red can. Man, they have just paved this. Looks like. Looks like metal. I think it was one piece of metal sticking out. That was it. One piece. It's a sad state of affairs right here. This thing is no joke. Thank you. I 
thing's heavy, man. This thing ain't light either. Cool. Thank you. Well, you know, maybe I just maybe I just don't make myself clear when I post things on Marketplace. That message right there says this is for the three cameras that I've got on there for fifty dollars. How much for two of them? Fifty dollars. How much for one? Fifty dollars. <sighs> Obviously, I'm doing something wrong. Well, I don't see much. Every time I come here, that thing's out. It's like they just empty it every day. I do see something. Just don't know what that is. It's a face mask. Hey, one thing right now, that's heavy duty face mask. That's some serious face mask right there. With the new shields. Are we just not using them anymore? Or? Huh. COVID must be over. I don't think I got the memo. I don't know, but I've been told a lot of tires in a dumpster go unsold. Well, what do you do here? Not a lot of metal, for sure. But it's some. Um. <clears throat> and so. Simple thing. Boxes galore. You know, I don't know why I don't come across DMK kind of stuff when he looks in dumpsters. That guy 
can find more crap. It's crap. Aluminum. Than I ever thought about finding. Ugh. And just when I say that. see some stuff. Don't know how heavy this stuff is. Stay up close to that in case you all didn't hear me before, but that's Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, on the back window of a Jeep. With purple lights underneath the Jeep and it's got Elvira down the side of it. It's an Elvira Jeep. I didn't realize there was a market for that. And where did you get that thing for your back window at? I didn't realize there was a market for, I didn't realize Elvira was that big. Don't get me wrong. Now, I'm an Elvira fan from way back, but I'm not putting her sticker on my vehicle. I think it would be awesome right now to go to a gas station or something and Elvira got out of that. I might have to follow this Jeep around for a while. Asshole!